guys so one of you guys recommended I do a video on like what I do in a day like what it looks like but really my schedule varies a lot and it depends when I have work and stuff um so like um I work on my own at the moment yeah so I'll just actually think it'd be better to do a video of really what I eat in a day as mostly plant-based and how it's possible to eat plant-based and yummy and um, I, maybe I won't have a lot of video content because I like probably like today I'm not going to go out. Maybe I could film other times I went out or what I buy and stuff. But yeah, I'll just start filming and edit this later. So. Okay, so I was thinking about I have an avocado thing and I have kale, which is kind of like rusting away. But I think I'll just save the kale for later on at night when it's. And I eat late. I eat really late. Okay, <laughs> I have breakfast at like. 11 in the morning, 10, 11, and then I have lunch at like 2 or 1, and then I have dinner, and then like I have like snacks throughout the day. Okay, so here I'm making a smoothie. I have five bananas and some milk, plant-based milk, and I have, I put in some chia seeds, like a tablespoon, and yeah, these are Bananas are from Ecuador. I don't really like bananas from Ecuador, but that's usually what they sell here. I think the best tasting bananas here are from Paraguay and Brazil, which they don't sell. I don't know why. And Peruvian bananas, they say, are really good. I've never tried them. There's some bananas they say that taste like vanilla ice cream, very creamy. Then I tried red bananas one time. They taste the nearly the same as the re regular banana, but they're a bit creamier, just a little creamier. Yeah, I don't add sugar. There's this crazy chick named Freely the Banana Girl. <laughs> What's way sh like more sugar that's it's i don't do that um yes i do eat bananas because of freely she influenced me <laughs> call me crazy but she makes a point okay there's this conspiracy that bananas are like too much sugar and bad for you they're not you can eat as many bananas as you want you can eat 5, 10, 15, 50, even 50 bananas a day if you like, but yeah, that's <laughs> but you can actually, I think she made a video like eating 50 bananas a day so, so this is lunch oh, so I'll catch up with y'all on my snack I opened up the fridge and I forgot I had this vegan caramel I bought. So I'm going to put that on the smoothie. Yeah, I know it's extra sugar, it's processed, but um, it'll give it a little taste, a better taste, I guess. I just want to finish this jar, get rid of it really, because I'm trying, I want to go on a like, sugar-free diet again and it's pretty hard <laughs> we're all addicted to sugar but yeah i need you need to get rid of the temptation first right so march i need to start like officially a diet and get my ass to the gym <laughs> it has to be that way okay I want y'all to ask me, remind me, look, bitch, did you go to the gym? Like, when it's March, ask me about my diet and if I started working out and, like, force me. <laughs> I want y'all to force me. <laughs> okay. I also have a 600 watt, which is a very low, <laughs> very low watt for a, for a blender. It still has its job, right? I would love
love to have like a Vitamix, but those sh those things are expensive. So gotta do with what we got. But yeah, the conventional blender could be um you could do a lot of things in it. You just need to prep the food better, cut it into smaller pieces, defrost it more, I guess. And yeah, it's doable. One of the reasons I hate cooking, I mean, I love cooking, but I don't like it at the same time. Even though this is not technically really cooking, but still, you, when you prepare a meal, it's like there's so many things you can put in it, right? There's some, like, for example, I have a bit of vanilla. Like, vanilla extract, should I put a little bit here or not? Uh, like, some, I also have orange extract. Like, could I add it here or not? You know, what's a good combination? Whenever I try to spice it up, I overspice it. <laughs> or, yeah, I just... It's, it's difficult to condiment the food. Like, how much should you put? What type of condiments should you put? How, what, what condiments can match well? Do they mix well? Will they alter your food? So sometimes I just try to be as bland as I can. Yeah, I think there's also, it's very interesting to taste the food itself. I think mono meals, this is why I try to have a mono meal. So it's just like banana smoothie. I usually put water in it, but today is an exception. I put milk, um, plant-based milk, so. Um, but yeah, just like, and it's so funny how like, I don't like eating bananas by themselves, I don't like the taste of it, but when I blend it up with water, they taste amazing. It's like, just, it's so crazy how the, the taste changes just when you change the texture. Like, yeah. Anyways.